Life Day Kids! How's it going? How are you? Good. So, if you guys don't know, this is Laylee Eldridge, and Hi. she is a kids leader here at Life Gate Midtown, and she's the best, and we love her so much. And I'm Pastor Cami, if we've never met, and we're here to do something fun. Are you ready, Laylee? I think so. She doesn't know what it is, but I promise it's gonna be so much fun. So, first we're gonna play a game. Laylee, can you close your eyes, please? So this is how it's gonna go. I have some food under this piece of paper. Laylee's gonna keep her eyes closed and I'm gonna put it in front of her and she has to eat it. She doesn't know what it is, okay? So here we go. Give you a little peek. Okay, Miss Laylee, it's right in front of you. What do you think about that? I think there's no flavor, it was gross. Yeah, food with no flavor isn't very yummy, isn't it? All right, so good news is, is I have something else for you. Are you ready? Take your drink, refresh your palate, and close your eyes. Here we go. Okay, it's in front of you. Taste that and tell me what you think. Mmm, I think you added some flavor to it. I, you think, so you think it was the same thing? Yeah. Okay, but it was just more flavorful. Mm -hmm. It was better. It All I did better. was add salt. Salt? Just salt. Isn't it crazy how much salt can change? Yeah. Salt can change a peanut butter pretzel so fast. First, she had a bland peanut butter pretzel with no salt on it, and then I gave her one with salt on it. And what would you say? It was better? A lot better. So much better. So I think that there's something in Matthew, in the Bible, that talks about salt. Do you have that verse, Lily? Right here. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. So just like the Bible tells us, we are called to be salt in this world. I know it sounds really weird. Do you want to be salt? No. Not initially, no. But once you find out what the salt means, then it becomes something really good. So you said something after you ate the second pretzel, and what did you say? You talked about flavor. Yeah. What did the salt do? I, it made it super tasty. It made it super tasty. What else does salt do for us? Well, I guess it turns bland things into more flavorful. That is such a good line. Salt takes the bland and it turns it to flavorful. And that is exactly what we get to do in other people's lives. By being salt, we get to make things fun. We get to make a difference and we get to add flavor to things that would normally be dull without purpose. But salt brings in freshness and flavor and it's really exciting. And so what Jesus wants us to do is he wants us to maintain our relationship with him so we can be salt to other people around us. So how do you maintain your relationship with Jesus, Laylee? Well, I like to read the Bible and I pray at night and then when I go to church, I like to go to worship service. And that's exactly what I love to do. Be in the Word, which is God's the Bible. God gave it to us, and it's blessed, and it has so much in it. By reading that, we get to strengthen our relationship with Jesus. We get to know more about Him, and we get to know more about love, right? And I think love is pretty exciting, and sharing love is pretty exciting, right? And that adds excitement and flavor and everything just like salt does. So by strengthening our relationship with Jesus, we get to be salt to other people and we get to make a difference in a world that would normally be bland and dead. And that's just really cool that we get to do that and that God calls us to be salt. So here's what we want you to do. What do we want them to do? We want them to take their worksheet and read Matthew 5.13. Yes. And then circle below the foods that are good with salt. Ah, yes. So ask your parents to print this off. Do your activity sheet and talk about how you can be salt in other people's lives. And then we want to hear about it. When you're at church this Sunday, tell us about it. Tell us your ideas and it'll be fun. Does that sound good? All right, guys. So go figure out what salt does, how it makes things taste better. Talk about it with your parents and your friends and have a really fun time. We will see you next week, right? Right. Bye, guys. Have Bye. a good week.